Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is 3DX and in today's video I'm going to be creating a... I'm not sure if I want to call this a teapot or a like a genie lamp of sorts. Um, so the sketch itself I actually made it and it's based on a on a picture of a lamp. Ah, that's what it was called in the reference, it was called the lamp. So I, won't, I don't know if I want to call this a lamp or if I just want to call this more like a teapot of sorts. Um, so for now, let's just call it uh, a lamp. Um, so anyway, so I just took that picture of a lamp that I found online and I just did a few changes to it just to kind of create my own uh, sketch of it. Uh, obviously, it's really rough. Um, mostly because I'm not really a concept artist, I just do 3D mostly. Uh, but sometimes I just take stuff and it's just kind of like um, do my own thing with it. So this is one of those cases where I just took a picture of an image of a real object and I just kind of added a few things to it just to kind of make it my own style. So anyway, I'm going to be making this by obviously uh, importing the reference image into Maya. And since it's mostly a 2D picture, I'm just going to use that. And usually if you have a reference image that's like a 2D picture, it just makes it so much easier to make pretty much anything. Just because it's a lot easier to follow uh, the actual contour of the model. And uh, it just speeds things up a lot because you don't have to be eyeballing anything. You can just use the actual um, concept, which is what I'm doing here. I'm going to be using mostly the image as my reference and this way I don't have to think too much about you know kind of like staring at it and um, eyeballing proportions and stuff like that you can just use the image in this case and then just base it on that so obviously I'm using Maya for this and you know it's such a simple uh, model but I think you could use any other program for this if you wanted to just kind of follow along with this one So it's mostly a cylinder with some shapes and uh, some of the other, uh, like the handle, I uh, obviously used a curve for that and then I just extruded a circle just to get that out of it. And obviously I did remove some geo just to kind of like get it, get it to work uh, as I wanted it to. And then for the wing here, I obviously used a deformer just to kind of change the shape so that it actually wraps around a little bit better. So I guess if this was, if this was a, real, a real object, I don't know, I guess it would be like glued in or something like that. Um, but anyway, and for the wing, I was also working in sub D mode. And then I subdivided it just to get my, I guess, final low poly model. And just kind of clean that up a little bit. And then for the front, I decided to just kind of weld it together just because I thought it would be a lot easier to manage and uh, it's also cleaner, sometimes it's a lot cleaner if you weld some pieces uh, just because it's not going to uh, make any seams uh, obvious it just kind of hides them a little bit better when you weld things So obviously this one's a pretty simple one. And like I do in a lot of my videos, I'm also going to UV only half of the model and uh, I'm going to mirror the rest. So for UVs, it's going to be really simple. I'm going to mostly do a planar map and then just cut uh, the UVs in spots where there's like a 90 degree or close to 90 degree angle change. And usually I just use the unfold tool as well. It's finding that it kind of uh, cleans up the UVs a little bit. It makes them a lot easier to manage. 
and then I'm just gonna lay them out and I'm going to start to mirror the model and one thing I always like to do is I want to check for end guns so use the mesh cleanup tool uh, I highly recommend doing that I always use it just to make sure I don't have any like uh, end guns on the model like even if you don't think you've added any sometimes it's always a good practice to double check that you don't have any you know bad geo or anything like that and i'm also using a rename tool just to rename the whole object and uh there's a link for that in the description obviously you can just rename objects manually as well but i find that this tool just kind of saves um saves me the time to manually rename objects when i can just use this tool And for the high poly, I just duplicated the low poly and I, ch I just changed the naming for the uh, high poly to be uh, underscore high for all the, all the pieces. And then I'm just adding um, supporting geometry just so that I can just subdivide this in ZBrush. And in ZBrush, I'm not going to add too many details. I just want to add like a, a little bit of like a hammered metal look. Um, obviously, something like that could also be done in Substance Painter, but I'm... Um, I decided I'm going to take it to ZBrush just in case I decide to add any other uh, like details. So importing into ZBrush and I'm just going to subdivide it. And I'm going to add the details at the top here. Just realize I did not add those as modeling, uh, which you, you don't need to because you can just use a sculpting program to do this as well. And I'm going to add that by mostly just masking it. And obviously this is going to be baked as a normal map. So it's going to be somewhat flat. Um, if you want it to be more um, noticeable on the model, obviously you will have to model that out. But in this case, I think it will work fine if it's just the normal map information. And then I'm just adding a few details here, uh, just so that it looks less uh, clean. It looks a little bit more damaged, only a little bit. I still wanted to keep it uh, mostly clean for the most part. And then I'm also going to add a few more details here for the wing as well. And I'm also going to use masking for this. And obviously this is also just going to be normal map information so it's going to be uh, somewhat flat but it's still going to react to lighting because that's what normal maps do and i think that's uh, that works fine in this case And I'm just going to export this as my high poly and in Substance Painter I'm just going to bake. I think I bake mostly using the default settings except I'm baking by mesh name. I do think I baked the ambient occlusion without that so there's a little bit of ambient occlusion in between the pieces. Then I'm going to use the uh, 3DX stylized material for this. Link in video description and uh, I'm just going to change a few things. I'm going to change uh, the color and I'm also going to use one of the uh, default materials that comes with that painter just to kind of give it a little bit more of a look here uh, but that's pretty much it for this video so if you like this uh, hit the like button if you're new to the channel subscribe and I'll see you in another video for a new model do you see this environment right here I made this really quickly using Maya ZBrush Substance Painter and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. 
So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. So you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.